What's up, guys? The cryptographer here in the building. Uh, before we continue, uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, hit that notification bell. Make sure you hit the notification bell so every time I do a video, you know, you get some notifications sent to your phone, your email, or whatnot. So you could keep up to date with this uh, crypto journey that I'm on. And also hit the like button. That way, you know, uh, the video could be shared around in the whole YouTube space and everywhere else. And just share the video. Just, just trying to sh spread the knowledge out there. Share the knowledge. Um, hope everybody out there doing well, staying safe. I'm actually uh, getting ready to get some groceries. Uh, stock up my fridge before everything closes down because the holidays or the weekend. But are y'all ready to talk about some crypto? Let's talk about some crypto. Let's stop wasting your precious time because time is a valuable thing to waste. Let's get right into it. Um, in my last video I did, we were talking about, you know, Coinbase, how to buy and how to link your bank account and how to send whatever crypto asset you bought on Coinbase, you know, to send it out to a platform called Hotbit right here. Now, I was explaining to people how to buy Binance on this platform because the fees are cheaper to withdraw. Like, every time you're dealing with these crypto exchanges, you know, you never want to leave your crypto on these platforms, you know, on these apps. You want to uh, withdraw it. You want to send it out to your own personal private wallets. So I was explaining to people, you know, Hotbit is good because when you withdraw your Binance, if you see down here, the fee is 0 0.001. Go to CoinStats. Zero point zero zero one. It's like fifty four cents to withdraw your Binance out of Hotbit. Now, where is your Binance going to? Into your trust wallet that we see right here. So I was explaining to people in the previous video. You know, this is where you want to store your crypto that you get in any of the other exchanges, whether it's Hotbit, KuCoin, CoinX. You know, there's many uh, crypto exchanges out there, you know, where you can just buy crypto. And this is where you want to store it at. Now, all of this is being done on an Android smartphone, Galaxy phone. So... What you see in the bottom right there on this wallet, you know, you see wallet, discover, dApps, and setting. I want to show people the dApps feature, but a lot of people out there have iPhones, you know, a lot of people use iPhones. So th that dApps feature is not on any of the iPhones. So uh, to connect into the, into the dApps with your iPhone, you would need a laptop, a computer, a tablet, whatever to connect your trust wallet from your iPhone to the to the platform. And we're going to be talking about the pancake swap platform. I was I was talking about how to earn some good phenomenal yields on the pancake swap platform. But I want to I want to refresh people's memories on how to connect your 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 iPhone trust wallet. So uh you gotta go to settings. When you see down there and, and on the on the bottom right, click on settings and you click on wallet connect. Now this is the the picture you have to check. You have to go into a browser. I'm, I'm using the Brave browser. You guys could download that in, in the Play Store, but whatever browser you got, I'm pretty sure the majority of people use Chrome. You know, just go to Chrome or whatever browser you have, you know, type in pancakeswap.finance. That's the website. And what you see on the top right where it says connect wallet, you want to click on that. And you want to click on wallet connect. And then you want to click on QR code. So that's the QR code you're going to connect from your trust wallet. You know, you take a picture of that and then in your iPhone, in your trust wallet, it should tell you to confirm to connect. And then you should be fully connected to the pancake swap website. So I'm gonna we're gonna navigate into my trust wallet here. For anyone who has uh, Android, 
Samsung Galaxy phones, you know, you can easily do it on your phone with the DAPS feature down here. And we're going to navigate into the PancakeSwap.finance website. And before we continue, right up there where it says PancakeSwap.finance, next to it, click on that Ethereum symbol and click on Smart Chain. Because this is all Binance Smart Chain projects. Now, whoever, whoever uh, was successful in buying their first Binance on Hotbit, you know, you got you to gotta make sure when you withdraw your Binance out of there, you're, you're using BEP20, in parentheses, BSC. So BSC stands for Binance Smart Chain. That's the chain we're going to be using within the Binance network. So Binance is its own native token. You know, the, the regular one you see there, the first one, BEP2, that's the regular uh, version of Binance. But Binance did an upgraded version to BSC. So that's what we're going to be dealing with here in PancakeSwap.Finance. And this this screen, what you see here, it might it might look different on, uh, on a regular computer or a laptop or a tablet. But this is how it looks on your phone, but it should be straightforward. Like what, whatever you learn here on this screen should be straightforward what you're looking at on the computer screen, laptop, tablet, whatever you're using. So, you know, once you get Binance in your trust wallet, you know, I showed people in the in the last video, you know, when you look down there in the bottom left, it says trade. And that's how you get your cake token. Now, cake is what you need to stake into this platform. Now, we're going to be talking about what staking is. So staking is where you make the money. At. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty much in, in simplest terms, you're just locking up your crypto asset. So pretty much you're locking up your cake to earn some yield, some interest in, in cake. So right next to where it says earn, you click on that and you go to pools. And this is the pancake swap syrup pools. That's that's what they call it. And this is where you stake some tokens to earn. Um, I recently bought some uh, cake this morning. You know, not a lot. You know, it was like two tokens. And I uh, staked in one of these pools here called Earn Zoo. So Zoo is where I got some. You know some rewards on that platform, and I used it to buy more cake. Um. So this is this is the the, the pool. When, when I first got into cake, I first used the the auto cake because I wanted to get more cake. But these other uh, projects here. You're pretty much staking your cake to earn different kinds of tokens. Now, these tokens are all Binance. These are all Binance projects you see here. And they all have different types of percentages that you can earn on. But when you stake your cake in these different pools here, you're earning back uh, those type of tokens. Now, this app that I showed you guys, uh, Coin CoinGecko and CoinStash, you could use those two apps to search you know, these projects that you see on pancake swap. But for for beginners, I just recommend to just getting into uh the, the regular pancake auto cake. Now this this pool right here auto compounds it for you. The other ones, I'm not too sure they auto compound it for you. Now to break it down, auto comp auto compounding is it would it would just automatically restake your earnings back into the pool. You know, keep stacking up your earnings that way. You know, so this is this is the auto cake pool right here. The yield right now is 68.93. It was a lot higher a couple months ago. So these yields go up and down, kind of like the crypto prices, the prices of the crypto. But someone who's looking at the price all the time is more like a trader. He, he, he You want to get short term profits doing that way, like a, it was See me, I don't trade that much. I'm more into the staking projects where I just buy some crypto 
and I put it into these platforms and I, and I just let it generate more crypto for me. Now this, that type of protocol is called proof of stake. You know, that, that comes from the Ethereum networks and, and, and a whole bunch of other cryptos are, follow, are following along with Ethereum with that same protocol, the proof of stake, where you stake a certain amount of crypto to produce more crypto. Uh, compared to Bitcoin's protocol, which is proof of work, you know, if anyone's not familiar with how Bitcoin is being produced, um, it gets uh, created with a whole bunch of computers stacked up and a whole bunch of mining power with actual hardware computers. This way, you, 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 you're pretty much mining, you know, with whatever crypto you bought. So, and obviously, it, you, you will earn more depending on how much you put in. You know, if, if you're going to put in $50 or $100, you might get some good returns, but you might not get as much as you put a little bit higher uh, compared to uh, the Bitcoin protocol. You know, people are still into the whole mining business. So... But that's for another video. I want, I want to I want to explain that in another video about the, the differences the differences between proof of work and proof of stake. But right here, this is all this is what decentralized finance is all about, where uh, these these uh, projects are being run by some type of special code called smart contracts. I can exp I can explain a little bit of that throughout this video. I might explain it a little more in the upcoming videos, but in this video, I want to just show people how the pancake swap platform looks and how to earn on the pool and also farms. So I, I already showed you how to get into the auto cake. All you got to do is uh, get cake from when you click on trade, you know, you, once you got Binance deposited in your trust wallet, it should just pop up here. You enter the amount. And you get your cake, but never max out your entire Binance holdings. Make sure you leave some left over for the fees to uh, stake and also to get into the farming projects. Now, this is what I wanted, wanted to get into in this video and also show a little bit more on another platform that I'm using now that I uh, have LP token state. And that's the rewards I got from that is what I use to buy more cake on this platform so you can be real creative with these uh with these pools and these uh yield yield farming projects okay that's 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 what this is, is called right now yield farming where you're seeking the yield by combining two cryptos together like for example you see here cake and bnb bsud matter of fact bsud is another stable coin it's kind of like USDC, like I spoke about in my other videos. But that's for the upcoming videos. Let's just focus on how to get that, how to get the liquidity pool token. So I'm going to break it down real easy for you guys. To do it is you go back to where it says trade down there. You see on top where it says exchange, right under the pancake bunny. It says exchange, and then next to it says liquidity. That's what you want to uh, click on because this is what you're doing. You're providing liquidity by combining two cryptos together to receive a special type of token called the LP token, which stands for the, li the liquidity pool token. And that represents your share in the market. And that special token is what you're going to stake to earn those amazing, phenomenal yields. So it's pretty much straightforward, you know. I don't have no crypto in this wallet to show you how it really goes when you confirm it, but it's pretty much uh, straightforward when you click on add liquidity. And like, for example, what we saw here in farms, you got to combine whatever you see here, like cake and BNB, BUSD, BNB, you know, let's, let's, let's keep it simple. Let's combine cake and BNB. So you go back to trade, click on liquidity, add liquidity. And this is where you uh, select your crypto. Sorry about that. I'll give these guys a call back later. Um, and then you click on BNB. And this is what you do right here. So you got to So this is the way in simplest term, let's say you got $100 and you want to get the liquidity pool. 
you split it. So you put $50 in Kick and $50 in BNB. You'll use the app, which is CoinStats. You know, you get, uh, you type in, type in $50. You see that number where it says Binance? You just get that there, copy it, and you just type it in here. You know, and then it'll automatically do the the values for you. Cause right here it just popped up four cakes. So four four cakes uh represents fifty dollars as well. So all in, in total will be a hundred dollars. That's only that's, that's like if you want to put in like at least a hundred dollars into these pools that I showed you here in farms. Let me, let, me, let me click on farms here. Here it goes. So yeah, that's that's how. And then once you once you get the once you ena enable this, it'll give you the option to stake because once you once you receive the the the, the LP token, it'll be available on this page. So that's 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 how that's how the the liquidity pool token works in the yield farming. Now check out all these yields; they're, they're very high. You know, we got some that are like a thousand three hundred and twenty. You know, these are these these could make you earn some real good crypto. You know, obviously depending on how much you put in, but you know, we can. This is a way to make your crypto work for you and 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 earn passive income. This is this is a Another way to make money, you know, instead of looking the prices all day, every day, you know, waiting for the price to go up to make a trade, to make money, when you can also make money this way. Um, let me show you guys real quick the other platform. Um, we're going to be using MetaMask. Now, MetaMask is, is just like Trust Wallet. It's just a different uh, wallet. But there's certain apps, there's certain uh, websites that can't be connected with your trust wallet. So the MetaMask will be used for this project that I want to show you guys real quick. I want This is where I got my uh, some some earnings from this platform, and I use those earnings to uh, buy more cake. Now this this project is called Crypto uh, Zoo. It's called Zoo. This is this is this is the crypto right here. I'm gonna show you in Coin Stats. This is a good project. It's, it's kind of like Pancake Swap, but it got more features on it, which I'm, I'm gonna show you. Um, where is this uh, crypto here? Here it is, Zoo Crypto World. It's, it's worth 64 cents now. You know, and on this platform, it's the same process that I showed you on Pancake Swap. Where you're doing the liquidity pool. In this one, you're combining the zoo and the BNB token. So this is this is this is where I got my rewards from this pool to buy more cake. To stake it on the pan the pancake swap platform. Because when I when I, the more cake I have over there, the more zoo I get over here to boost up my rewards on both of these platforms. Now what now what you're earning on this platform, once you do the whole because here they have it easy for you. When you see down here, add liquidity. The same way as I showed you on Pancake Swap. But how do you get Zoo though? To get Zoo, you know, you will have to go to Pancake Swap, you know, uh, and uh, let me show you guys real quick and get it over here. You will have to search for Zoo. And just get it from here, from your Binance. But there's another way I want to show you guys of how to uh, buy cryptos on a different platform. That you can, that when you buy, you earn more crypto as well. So this is one project right here, Pancake Swap. This is the one I want a lot of people to get familiar with first before we jump into the other uh, decentralized projects. This is all decentralized. 
like I spoke about in my previous videos, if you if, if y'all caught that, um, the difference the differences between centralized platforms and decentralized platforms. The centralized ones are like Coinbase and 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 the uh, Hotbit. You know, Coinbase is a centralized platform, and also Hotbit as well you know but whatever you do with your wallet is decentralized so all of this is done you know in a decentralized way because it's connected to a wallet where you have full ownership of your crypto on coinbase you don't when you buy crypto on coinbase you don't have full ownership so that's why i was teaching people in my other videos how to withdraw your crypto that you bought on coinbase out into different wallets like trust wallet or metamask you could you could deposit your bnb in metamask now i'm gonna do another video you know explaining more about metamask but i just wanted to show you guys this project right here now this i'm gonna I'm I'm give you guys a sneak peek too i didn't want to talk about this in this video but in this video i'm gonna give you a sneak peek of nfts some special kind of nfts that you can buy on this platform and stake it as well so this video is all about really the whole decentralized finance, the DeFi, and what staking is, and, and how to stake your LP tokens. Like I showed you on PancakeSwap, and like I sh showed you right here on Zoo Game. I'm going to provide all the links to these uh, platforms on my channel, so you guys could check out this project. These projects have different pools as well as you saw on PancakeSwap. But the main one I'm in is the one on top here where I'm combining the Zoo crypto and the Binance crypto mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. to receive that LP token to keep earning these rewards. Now, the, what, you're, what you're getting here, so if you click on those three lines up there next to English, this pops up. You're receiving key. That's what you're receiving in this uh, pool. And uh, the native crypto of this platform is Zoo. Now, key, the more the more keys you get, the more you get to do this type of thing here. Now, when you click on chest here, this is where you get to open up this chest and get NFTs. Now, this platform is like a metaverse type of uh, project. It's like a meta. It's all about metaverse. You could play uh, certain games, which I haven't really got into it yet. But I bought some NFTs on this platform. And you could buy NFTs on this platform when you click on Marketplace. So this is where you buy the NFTs on this platform only. And you get these NFTs like these. But there's different kinds of NFTs. You saw the difference between this one and this one. This one has like the purple background. Because when you when you filter this, when you do when you click on all rarity right there, and you do the drop down. The best ones to earn the most are epic and legendary. So I bought I bought some epic ones. Like maybe sometime last week or I can show you right here where I, where I bought um, which ones I bought. Um this one right here. I bought all of these on the Zoo Game platform. So I bought this one, this one, well, this is another uh NFT on another platform. It's called buy so I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm 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 gonna get into this one in a few, but this is another uh, NFT I bought on the Zoo Game platform. Uh, this one I think I just received it opening keys, and that one as well. So these are these aren't that strong. Let, now, let me let me explain what that what I mean by like their strength. Like if you look down there on the bottom, you see a symbol of a crown and a hammer, and they both have number one next to it. That the the, the the I know the hammer represents the mining power. Now these NFTs have mining power. See this one has one, this one has two, but this one has ninety three, and this one has thirty four, and this one has forty six. So these purple ones are the most expensive ones. You know they go around like three hundred dollars. If you see down there, it's just, it says 300 BUSD. So you, you have to buy this with a Binance stablecoin. But I'll get into that in another video. But right now, I just want to uh, finish this up real quick about this sneak peek of his NFTs, which, which I'm going to go more in depth 
in the next up upcoming video. But I bought these uh, rare NFTs, you know, on the Zoo Game platform. And once you once you buy these NFTs, right? You know, they have they have different kinds. You know, the the so those those, those are the epic ones. Now the legendary ones are the most expensive ones. They go around for like a thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars. You know, they go for like a thousand dollars and up. These are like the best NFTs you can get. See this one. This one's it's almost almost worth four thousand dollars. And look at the mining power. So these are the strongest ones, but you got to pay more, of course, to uh, stake it. W once you stake these NFTs, you go into the mining camp. And this is the mining camp. And you'll earn more zoo that way as well. So there's two ways to earn on this platform. You can earn with the liquidity pool token, like the same way I showed you on the pancake swap platform and on here. And through this, through NFTs, buying NFTs. That that those numbers that showed you on the NFTs, see the little hammer down here. See like this guy. This guy has like a forty-six. You're you're adding forty-six mining power to this. The hash power. The hash power is what you need to produce uh, this crypto here, uh, Zoo. You know, he's, this this crypto, I, I like this project, man. This project has been doing some good pumps. If you look at this chart, you know, some nice massive pumps. Let's see if it'll go higher than that. But I'm all in for the long run. And um, one last one last project I want to show you guys is, um, I just want to show you guys one last project before we go. Because today I just want to talk to about want to talk about in this video was uh, more more education of what decentralized finance was all about. This is what DeFi is all about, and and the whole Web 3.0. Once you once you start using these DApps, that's what it is a decentralized app that I'm using here on this Trust Wallet. That's when you start entering into like this whole metaverse web 3.0 realms. That's going to advance itself into the whole VR headset, you know, virtual reality, like virtual reality uh, worlds. But that's for another video as well. So um, I, hope, I hope you guys learned a lot of how to use the PancakeSwap platform. And, uh, you know, PancakeSwap and the other one, Zoo, that I showed you here, you know, those are just two of many other uh DeFi platforms out there. Like I wanna I, I wanted to show you guys I'm gonna show you guys two more. I'm, I'm gonna show you this one as well. This this one is called buyswap.org. And again I'm I'm gonna leave links of all of these so you guys could check it out what all these projects you know uh do. They're pretty much uh similar. You know they all have like different types of uh pools you know that you jump in to earn those yields so right here this is buy swap buy swap.org and this is another platform just like zoo that has nfts that you can also buy and stake but also i just want to show you guys the pools you know if you click on the three lines up there and you click on launch pools you could stake your bsw now bsw is the crypto of this platform buy swap Buy swap is uh I like buy swap a lot. It's a very good project. You know, um let me find it real quick. Here it is. Buy swap. You know, it take it takes some dumps here and there, but it's you know, it doesn't it doesn't really go below uh eighty seven cents. Well, it was that thirty cents. So you know this this one this this crypto trades a lot, you know. But it, just the features of it is what matters the most. The price matters, yeah, but not all the time. You wanna you wanna dig in deep into what these projects really do. See these 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 all get into these type of uh, yield. You know these, this is what you wanna do. You wanna stake these cryptos 
and put these cryptos to work. It's better to do this than just leaving your cash in the bank. Because if you just have cash, you know, um, your purchasing power goes lower every year because of inflation. And for people who have jobs out there, whoever's employed out there and they're getting raises, yeah, it's cool to get a raise, but um, you're kind of uh, getting paid less. Your purchasing power goes uh, lower because of what's going on in the macroeconomics now. Like the whole world is really changing. We're, we're, in, a, we're, in, a real, we're in a different world now. Of course, COVID, but you know, there's a lot of other things that are happening besides COVID. You know, even though COVID is still serious, it's getting more serious, a lot of other things in the financial realms are happening that are very serious, like, like what the Federal, the Federal Reserve are doing with the interest rates. But I don't want to get into that. That's like another, that's for like another video. This, this video is mostly for, you know, learning about these projects, DeFi projects. Check out these yields here. You know, these, these are pretty good, you know, and these also, oh, I'm in, I'm in this project here, BSTS. I can show you guys this project in another video. This is more like an NFT project. But let me let me let me hop into the uh farms as well. Just like you saw on Pancake Swap, same thing as here. The same way here. And how do you get them together? The same way you saw on Pancake Swap. You go to exchange. Well, here the setup here is a little different, but it's pretty much straightforward. Um Exchanging, swapping, trading, those are the same thing. Pretty much you're exchanging whatever crypto you got for another crypto. Now, this is the beauty about buy swap when you trade. When you trade, you see on top where it says fee return. You make a swap on buy swap and get up to 90% of free return in BSW tokens. So every time you make a trade on this platform, you know, you get more buy swap. Now, I know I show you guys how to uh, buy cake on PancakeSwap, but I don't know, man. I think this platform is, is a lot better to use to buy cake because if you buy cake over here, you know, you'll get some, buy, some BSW in return. So you're getting some cake and some BSW in return. So you're doing a two-hit combo right here. But, you know, again, I'm not a financial advisor. None of, this, none of this is financial advice. This is just educational purposes only. So, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do after you learn how to use these platforms. Once you learn how to use these platforms, how to actually buy these cryptos and stake them, your creativity will grow. And you, you'll do whatever you want to do, you know. And the last thing on this uh, platform is I want to show you guys the NFTs. See... That, that NFT that I showed you over here, I think it was over here, uh, this one here, I, I own this NFT, but this NFT ain't that strong. It's kind of it's like the ones I showed you with the zoo, you know, with the with the little hammer down there, the mining power. This one, the way it works is, uh, if you see down there, Roby Boost. So the type of NFT you need to get on this platform to get the best returns when you stake your 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 Roby boost needs to be a little higher. Um, just give me a second here. Yeah, this is this is the NFT staking pool, and that's what that's what you'll be earning, you know, on your NFT staked. But the good thing is your 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 rewards. Or four cryptos all in one shot. So you're earning BSW, WBNB, which is the same thing as Binance. But I'll talk about that in another video as well, the difference between that. USDT, you gotta remember, you remember USDT from Hotbit, you know, it's, it's a stable coin that you need to buy Binance and and some other crypto here, BFG. And guys, use use these use these apps you see here, uh, Coin Gecko and Coin Stats. You guys see that right there? You should download those apps to search for all these projects that you see on these platform when you when you visit these platforms. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get introduced to a lot of different types of cryptos that you don't see on Coinbase. You know, there's a whole lot of different cryptos out there that are, that are doing well. 
you know, that are there are there are not Shiba, they are not Doge. You know, the majority of people that's all that's the only cryptos they know about because that's what's being spoken about the most, you know, on the news and whatnot. But these are like you know hidden gems. These are crypto hidden gems. So be on the lookout for the upcoming videos because I'm I'm gonna be sharing a lot of different types of cryptos here. So um yeah, I got I, I showed you guys uh pancake swap, you know, how to the the whole pools, how to get into the regular pools with just staking cake, how to get into the to the yield farming, you know, how to combine the two two cryptos together to get that special LP token to stake to get them higher yields. I gave you guys a sneak peek of the NFTs on one of the platforms that I'm using, the uh Zoo. Check out that crypto out, Zoo. So it's a, it's a great project. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to leave some of the links down, you know, like the buy swap link, the pancake swap, so you guys could be familiar, you know, with those websites. That you connect those websites to your wallet. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys learned a lot there, you know. I was trying to keep it short, but you know I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter, maybe like ten to fifteen minutes. But um, there's a lot to talk about, man. This is just the beginning, you know. So once again, you know, uh, hit that subscribe button. You know, make sure you hit that notification button too to get notified every time I make uh, new videos. And hit the like button and just share this video around. You know, teach people what is decentralization, what is decentralized finance, DeFi. You know, and then I, I'm going to start preparing some videos to talk more about NFTs. I'm more into the DeFi space, but I'm going to be experimenting more with the NFTs. And I'm going to take you guys along with me into, on this uh, crypto journey. But um, I hope you guys stay safe. Hope you guys have a nice holidays with your family. You know, treat this type of holiday like it's every day. You know, give thanks every day. Um, you can give gifts throughout the year, any day. You know, the, the whole the whole point is about having a positive mind and having a good spirit and uh, 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 just staying productive, man, in these hard times out here. You know, so hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.